Good evening. We're hearing from witnesses tonight what they saw when a police officer had to use deadly force to take down a dog attacking him. It happened after police started chasing the dog's owner. They say he'd stolen a car. Our Phil Prazen picks up the story from Round Rock. Scores of police descend on Mr. Hotshine car wash along I-35 in Round Rock after a two-day chase ends. There's a lot of layers to this. Angelique Myers from Round Rock Police say they've searched for 35-year-old Rudy Gonzalez since Saturday night. He had a stolen vehicle suspect. Round Rock Police tracked Gonzalez down to Homewood Suites along South Mays, but when they saw they were coming, he got out in front and took off in a stolen car. Police say he stole a red Ford Mustang and sped down I-35 frontage road. Gonzalez then crashed the stolen Mustang into this ditch, got out of the car with his dog and ran towards the car wash. He ran with his leash dog to this four door SUV. Police say he wrestled with the driver trying to take over the car. I don't know what they were trying to do, but I was just scared. This woman saw what happened next. She does not want to be identified. Six, seven, eight shots just going off and, and I see the dog drop and I see him drop and I freaked out. Police tased Gonzalez. And as he went down, he lost grip on his pit bull type dog. When this video shows it attacks an officer, another police officer takes aim at the dog and kills it. A pop and then five more pops. It. Valerie Robinson says how all of this happened in front of kids and family in the SUV is shocking to say the least. The officer was treated on scene for the small bite wound and none of the dozen or so other people who saw it were injured. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. Well, Mr. Gonzalez now facing charges, unauthorized use of a motor vehicle, evading arrest, attempted kidnapping. He also has outstanding warrants, so he could be facing more charges.